Hello, I'm Sister Ann Pitsenberger, and I was the uh, administrator at the time that the new hospital was built 50 years ago. We had nothing in the old hospital. We didn't have air conditioning. We didn't even have window air conditioners. We used fans in the summer and opened up the windows, but in the winter we did have boilers that heated the building. Uh, but in the new hospital, it was all central air conditioning. In the old hospital, if someone needed oxygen, we had these great big tanks that we brought into the patient room. And now in the new hospital, we had piped in oxygen. And another thing that was uh, very new and innovative at that time was we had um, no tube system to send messages to from one department to another. Um, and in the new hospital, we had an electronic pneumatic tube system that sent messages all around the hospital. Well, I was very involved in preparing for the move. Another sister and I were chosen to really prepare for the move. And she was an experienced nurse of 10 years, and I was the new grad. So we had old and new because that's what we were moving. We were moving from old to new. So what we did is we visited all the departments and we would assess what was in those departments. And then closer to the move, we labeled everything. What was going to go had one colored tag and what was going to stay had another colored tag. We also went to the new hospital and we set everything up. We determined where the pencils would go, where the charts would go, where all the different forms, because in those days we used a lot of paper forms. And so we set all the nursing stations up. We also prepared and did orientation for all the staff, because again, they had not worked with wall oxygen or wall suction. Uh, pneumatic tube systems, they had a whole different call system. So we worked um, and did orientation for all of the people on how to work within this new environment. The sisters cleaned the entire hospital. As you know, uh, cleanliness is next to godliness. And so uh, Sister Ann wanted, to, she was very eager for us to take possession. And so she, we went in at night and on weekends and we would put all of our cleaning supplies in the truck and park it in the front of the hospital and then we would go in and we would move all the construction equipment and things down to the next floor. And we would clean the area and then she would notify them that we were taking possession. And we'd do the same thing until we got to the bottom of the hospital. And. Uh, you know, when I look at that hospital today, it looks as clean as it did when we moved in. And we always say it was sister clean. <laughs> well, I was unofficially designated a security person. I asked two of the sisters if they would s sleep there at night. I guess I considered them the security guards. I don't know what they would have done if somebody got in, but. The hospital had an old blue pickup truck and it had a stick shift and I knew how to drive a stick shift. And Sister Ann decided, once we started cleaning the floors, she wanted to be sure there was no vandalism or nothing would happen to the hospital. So uh, for the first week before we moved, and maybe a little bit longer than that, uh, another sister and I slept in the hospital. Well, we moved 55 patients and two babies, two newborns, and we moved them in 13 ambulances that were provided by the funeral directors. And a nurse went with each patient. So we started at eight o'clock in the morning, so by 9.30 they were all tucked in their beds at the new hospital. When I think about it, I feel very privileged because, you know, not many people can have that kind of experience of preparing for a hospital move and being involved in it and then seeing it um, continue and flourish. 
You know, Litchfield was a smaller hospital, the city was a smaller community, and everyone knew everyone else in, in some fashion. And so the excitement of the move, preparing for the move, um, it, it really was the buzz of the town, you might say. And I want to thank you for the support and encouragement that you have given uh, to the hospital and those who have worked there for these many years. We are grateful as Franciscan sisters for all that you do, all that you have done, and we hope that the future remains as bright and happy for you. God bless you all.